On this date, around 9.50 p.m., officers became aware of a wanted suspect driving a 2005 Silver Pontiac Grand Am. The suspect, Randall James Woslick Jr. of Rockaway Beach, was wanted for several felony warrants. At 9.52 p.m., Branson Police Officer 1 located the Pontiac traveling west on 76 Country Boulevard near Roark Valley Road and requested another officer be en route to his location to assist with a vehicle stop. As Officer 1 followed the Pontiac, the vehicle turned into a convenience store parking lot and stopped near the building's front doors. Officer 1 parked behind the Pontiac, exited his vehicle, and made contact with the occupant. Inside the vehicle was a male driver and a dog. Officer 1 introduced himself and asked for the driver's name. The driver, Mr. Woslick, verbally provided a false name. Hello. Hello. Come on. Branch Police Department. How you doing, man? All right. Uh, I'm talking to you. Just, uh... Is your dog? What's your first name? John. John? Yes. You got an idea on you by chance? No, I don't. Okay. What did I do wrong? Uh, just trying to talk to you, kind of see what's going on. I've been having some weird stuff going on with this car. So, John, you said John? Come on. J-O-H-N? Yes. J-O-H-N? Yes. Okay, sorry. I thought you said S. John, what's your last name? Hankins. What is it? Hankins, H-A-N-K-I-N-S. Upon the arrival of Officer 2, Officer 1 returned to his vehicle to confirm Woslick's identity through police files. <laughs> Officer 1 recontacted Woslick seated in the Pontiac with the dog seated in his lap while Officer 3 arrived at the scene. See what you think. <sighs> All right. Hold on a second. All right. Do you want to go step out of the car? Officer 1 instructed Woslick to step out of the vehicle, but he refused, asking what he did wrong. Officer 1 repeated the instruction to step out of the vehicle while opening the car door. Woslick refused to exit the car. Officer 1 told Woslick that he believed he was Randall, and both he and Officer 2 told Woslick that he was under arrest while repeating the orders to step out of the car. Woslick continued to refuse orders, and he began reaching for something between the seat and the center console with his right hand. Officers 1 and 3 grabbed a hold of Woslick and began ordering him, do not reach, while in a brief struggle. Step You're under arrest. Here. Step out. Don't reach. Do I'm not reach for things. Do not reach. The officers attempted to control Woslick for approximately five seconds, but he was able to retrieve a handgun with his right hand. Woslick brought the gun up towards the officers, and all three saw it. All officers yelled, gun, while Woslick pointed the pistol at Officer 1. Don't reach. Do not reach I'm for not things. Do not Reach! Don't reach! Don't the officers all simultaneously disengaged and retrieved their duty issued firearms, firing as they retreated away from Wosley. The officers fired several rounds at Woslick during approximately three seconds. Woslick was struck by several shots and fell from the vehicle onto the parking lot while his gun fell out of his hand and landed next to him. The officers immediately advised Branson Dispatch that shots were fired and requested them to start medical responders to their location. During the next minute, the officers secured Woslick's gun and the scene, also checking the occupants of the store and themselves for injuries. When Officer 1 retrieved Woslick's gun, he secured it in the trunk of his patrol car, unloading it first. He discovered that the gun was loaded with a round in the chamber. One was in the chamber. Within a minute and a half of the shooting, officers began assessing Woslick and attempting life-saving measures for him. 
The officers continued to administer CPR for two minutes until relieved by Branson Fire Department personnel. Despite all life-saving efforts by officers, fire department personnel, and medics from the Taney County Ambulance District, Mr. Woslick was pronounced dead at the scene. A brief search of the vehicle showed a holster for Woslick's gun wedged between Woslick's seat and the center console. This is where Woslick had reached with his right hand when he was instructed to exit the car. It is believed the dog was injured during this incident and was observed running from the scene. Efforts were made to find the dog, however it was not located. Per Branson Police Department policy for officer-involved shootings, the assistance of an outside law enforcement organization was requested to investigate. The scene and all evidence was turned over to the Missouri State Highway Patrol's Division of Drug and Crime Control for investigation. At the conclusion of the Highway Patrol's investigation, copies of their report were provided to the Taney County Prosecutor's Office and the Branson Chief of Police. Police Department, how are you doing, man? All right. Uh, I heard him talk to you. Just, uh, is he Doug? What's your first name? John. John? Yes. You got an idea on you by chance? No, I don't. Okay. What did I do wrong? Uh, just trying to talk to you, kind of see what's going on. I've been having some weird stuff going on with this car. So, John, right. you said John? J O H N? Yes. J O H N? Yes. Okay, sorry. I thought you said S. John, what's your last name? Hankins. What is it? Hankins, H-A-N-K-I-N-S. Awesome. I appreciate it. Just hang on tight for me just a second and we'll get you out of here, okay? Branson, can you see if you can get a picture for the subject with the 99s? Come look at this picture. See what you think. <sighs> All right. Hold on a second. All right. So you want to go ahead and step out of the car for me? Uh, what did I do wrong? You want to step out? No, actually, I don't. Okay. okay. So Stop. as of right now, I believe you're actually Randall, not John. So step out. I want to step out. Step You're out. Under arrest, step You're under arrest. Step out. Don't reach. Do Stop. not reach I'm the not thing. Doing Do not reach. Good. Do not fire. Shots fired. Shots fired. Suspect down. Check Suspect yourself. Down. Yep. Good. Back reload. Sorry, man. Medical. Get in the gun. Go for it. Go for it. I got the gun. 
per Branson Police Department policy, once the completed investigation was received from the Highway Patrol, Branson PD began its administrative review. I assigned Lieutenant Jones to conduct this review, and he convened a deadly force review board. This board consisted of the following personnel, a peer officer, a first line supervisor, a member of the command staff, a department trainer related to the force used, and a sworn officer from an outside law enforcement agency. These reviews are necessary to assure the community that the police department holds itself accountable in the following areas. First, we want to ensure that applicable policies and training were followed. Second, we want to ensure that the previous training provided to our officers was suitable for the incident. And third, we want to identify whether improvements or adjustments to the policy and training can improve for future situations. As a result of both the criminal investigation and the administrative reviews, the following determinations were made. The actions of all officers involved were the result of the immediate deadly threat that Mr. Wesselick presented. These actions were reasonable and justified in compliance with applicable laws, policies, and training. The training also prepared our officers well. Their initial interaction with Mr. Wesselick was cordial and calm. They provided Mr. Wesselick with clear orders to stop his actions, and they responded quickly and effectively when presented with a deadly threat. They also immediately secured the scene and weapon, checked on bystanders and each other, and quickly began life-saving efforts for Mr. Wesselick. 